Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. My name is Vic and today we're going to be using traditional watercolors mixed with watercolor markers and also watercolor pencils. So I'm starting out on a five by seven watercolor block and I'm applying a little bit of frisket. I have a couple videos on frisket, so I won't go over that right now. For my base layer, I'm using traditional watercolors. This is Van Gogh. It's a student grade uh, watercolor paint. Um, you're gonna wanna keep that first base layer really gestural and loose. As you can see, I have switched over to the watercolor markers now. I left the white of the paper for my watercolor markers because these are very saturated, transparent colors. So um, now I'm kind of switching back and forth between the traditional watercolors and the watercolor markers. You can do this because they blend in and out with each other just by using a wet brush. You can also layer the watercolor markers on top of traditional watercolor to give it a more saturated look. So, um, I mean, you have a lot of different options of how you can use the markers, but I really like to build them up for that really strong, bold color that we're seeing here. These watercolor markers are not light fast. Uh, the brand is Ecoline. So you'll wanna make sure that you're just using them for something like a sketchbook illustration or something you'll scan in the future. Last but not least, I'm just quickly going to outline some of my subject matters and add a little bit of shading using those watercolor pencils. Um, if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to make a video about watercolor pencils, but this is my illustration. Uh, I hope that you guys like how it turned out. I always like to do realistic, but just pumped up a couple notches. So thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you next time.